Well, fishing freaks, welcome to an adventure of a lifetime. Right now, I'm about to get on a boat here with my boy Winston Tucker from Favorite Fishing. We're going out on Ron Speed's adventures here. We're in Manaus, Brazil right now, about to get on the river. What's the name of this river? Negro. This is the Rio Negro. And then this goes out to the, the main Amazon. Check this out, fishing freaks. That's our boat we're getting on right there. We're gonna get a little taxi out there. You can see all the bass boats sitting out behind. And they're gonna, gonna come get us. We're gonna be out on this river right here, traveling in that boat for basically a whole week, but it's gonna be 16 to 20 hours to get to our first fishing spot. So if you just look right here at the Rio Negro, I can't even see across it. It's so big. And we're going to a giant, 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 giant spot in the, in the Amazon River. So this is, this is literally like looking across the ocean right now. I feel like it's the 1800s and I'm going on like an uncharted journey. This is a very special experience right here, ladies and gentlemen. And you're about to see it all. What do you think, Tucker? Ready to rock and roll. You see all the lava rock? Right down here in two hours is where the meeting of the... Of the uh, we'll try to get the drone up and get all that black water meeting uh, clear water and it'll be, I think it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna I've never be got amazing. to do this, yeah. I feel like we just stepped back in time. Yeah, Like Jurassic we're explorers. Park. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Jurassic Park. I even got my, my hat. It's actually Winston's hat. Explorer hat, ready to go. This is John, our camera guy. He's gonna be on the adventure, hey getting all the good shots. Freak. Hopefully not getting eaten by piranhas or crocodiles or whatever else lives out here in the Amazon. I gotta tell you guys, I'm pretty pumped. We're going to get on this boat and I'm gonna be getting you a lot of footage, stuff I've never seen before. So today's just gonna be kind of a, a nature kind of vlog, experiencing the rivers and everything like that. And this is going to be one of the fishing boats right here. How you doing, my friend? It's good. Good? <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to transport our way over there to the big boat. Goodbye land. Hello water for the next week. <laughs> yeah, two weeks. <laughs> Woo! Twelve days of it, baby. Yeah, baby. That's the hotel in school, man. That's where we just stayed. There's the beach. Here's the Armada fleet. And here's the otter, baby. Hi, hello. Brown, it's nice to meet you. Winston, good to see you. Good to see you too. Hi. Hello. Brown, it's nice to meet you. Justin, big one. Have a good time? Yes, great time. Oh, this is nice. So that's our fleet of boats right there that we're going to be taking out. Really nice little boats that are going to be attached out here. Now let's get a little tour of our staying quarters here. See what we got going on. I'm just going to be nosy and poke around a little bit. Let's go upstairs. Okay, my room's here. Oh, perfect. Look at this. Awesome. All nice and cool in here. Yeah. For your air condition, you regulate the way you like. It's up to you. There's a bathroom, shower, hot water. Oh, again. Perfect. Got a window here for our view. Guys, how amazing is this? I got my own, this is a nice room. I got a little work desk over here. I can edit videos for you. So by the time you see this, I was probably working right there, checking it out, doing work. This is a nice little, it's kind of like a, like a little bungalow office out for the Amazon. This is this is like in between straight up wilderness adventure and a little bit of accommodation. You know, um, it's not like you're just going out there and getting thrown to the gators. We've got this nice boat that we can stay on and get some creature comforts and then go out in small boats and really get into the jungle. It's kind of the perfect combination of everything. So this is my first experience down here. 
Um, I'm just gonna be blabbing on and soaking everything in. But I've heard that this this boat and this uh, the people that run this, Ron Speed's Adventures, they've got like a perfect track rec record of nobody dying and uh, everybody getting back safely. And I say that because there's literally been people die out here. There's you know crazy diseases and you're literally out and you're we're, you're gonna see some crazy stuff like where people where man does not even live. If you look on Google Earth where we're at, it's just straight up trees. So this is gonna be an amazing, guys. I can't wait to show you more. When we get out on the main river, um, I'm gonna break out my big lens and hopefully we're gonna see some wildlife and things like that. This river's gigantic. We're gonna throw the drone up and get some drone footage of the rivers coming together. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Here is always surf. You can help yourself. It's a purified water. Fruits. Fresh bananas every day. Oh, baby. Some people say bananas are bad luck, but you don't really have a choice of fruit down here. This is something I always like to check out when I'm going on a new adventure to a new fishery. Whenever they have these posters, this is pretty cool. I used to have a bunch of these when I was a kid, and I try to learn a bunch, but I don't even remember how much stuff is down here. This is crazy. Look how many species. Look how many species with teeth that there are down here. Crazy amounts of catfish. Is uh, it's kind of deer. Look at all the big catfish species with teeth. Wow. And then of course we have the peacock bass. And they got a beautiful amount of peacock bass in here. And there's the main goal right there, fishing freaks. Look at that beautiful peacock bass. I cannot wait to hold one of these things and just oh, you know what's gonna happen. You know it. Now you may not know that there's actually three different species of peacock bass. So I think that's a cool challenge to do this week to try to catch all three. Well, we just got on the boat and I just started filming and I already had lunch served. This is um, this is first class, guys. Not sure what this is right here. Some sort of beef. We got rice. We got looks like spaghetti. Some sort of soup. Tomatoes and peppers. OSG would be proud. See, I'm not eating water burger out here. This is just straight up good old southern, real southern hospitality. behind us that we're passing right now is the big city of Manaus. You can see all the little little houses and little villages stacked on top of each other and all these ships that are coming down the Amazon that are bringing in in goods and all this commerce right here just right on the water. All on the water it's almost like water world. It's crazy. This is the biggest city we're gonna see for a while. We're gonna hit up some small villages, some small towns along the way, and maybe meet some locals. So that's gonna be really interesting. But we're just taking the last look at what civilization looks like for a long time. This is more travel, more adventure than I've ever experienced in my life, but it's amazing, it's awesome. I can't, I can't explain it, it's just, this is one of those once in a lifetime things that you just wanna soak in everything that's what i'm doing that's why i got you here bye bye my house hello amazon peacocks right now we're sitting we stopped the boat we're sitting where the two largest rivers in the world come together we got the big amazon and we got the rio negro coming together right here so some of the nutrients in the water is going to be mixing there's a lot of mud coming out of here and there's gonna be a lot of color changes. We're gonna throw up the drone so we can get some really cool footage from above where you can see the convergence of waters. But this is a very special place on the earth right here. Whoo, man, fishing freaks. I just can't even tell you how awesome this is to, to be a fishing freak, be here, oh, be a lover of biology and, and everything. This, this is an awesome moment. 
And this goes on for miles and miles and miles, the water mixing. Look at the colors. It's kind of like that tannic water meets this muddy water. And then it's going to get clearer as we go down. And there it is. There's the wild beyond. That's where we're heading. Woo! We're ready to do some chopping. Not shopping, chopping. Chopping. Look at all that. That's what you call a wood chopper. You've used these before, haven't you? Yeah. Talk about a workout. <laughs> That's what I've <laughs> heard. By the end of the week. <laughs> Getting our gear situated right now. Let me show you guys what we got going on here. We got plenty of rods. We brought plenty. We got 27 rods. Is that what you said? 47. <laughs> we got the uh, six stick combo reels. We're going to rig those up with braid. Um, this is what we're looking at throwing, guys. This is what I'm really excited about throwing. Choppers. Look at that, baby. I've seen that all my life. Heard about it. Now we're going to get to experience it. We're getting the phantoms out here, getting them all accounted for. Some of these rods are going to stay with the, the guide service. We're going to leave some for them so they can use them down here for these peacock bass. But these are literally what I use for bass fishing back home. We've got some of the 7.3 Extra Heavy Big Sexy. That's like what I brought to Mexico. Um, just got multiple models in here. Uh, most of them heavy because we're going to be doing some heavy duty lifting on some big fish and mostly braid 65 up to 80 pound braid we got some of that rigged out here ready to go and most of the tackle in these tackle boxes is all top waters like wood choppers here's some examples of jerk baits these ain't no little little bass jerk baits this is mondos look at those mondos and all this tackle has to be rigged out with really Split rings and hooks. So these are some old long A's right here. Got those rigged out with big split rings and hooks. And I brought some big top waters we're gonna try as well. But this is what they recommend and they know works. Woo wee! That looks good. So we're gonna get all our tackle rigged and we're gonna drive through the night. So we'll have plenty of time to rig our tackle up and get ready. And we shouldn't get there until like 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Do, uh, do these these uh, these things live in the river here, I'm, I'm assuming? Just big old gator heads? This is a caiman? This is the black caiman here. Black caiman? Oh, I didn't know caimans got that big. Biggest species. That's uh, pretty big. We're gonna take three or four rods, 65 to 80 pound braid, all basically bass flipping or big Texas rig worm style actions. Even with the top waters and everything, they're just so big. Some of them are over two ounces, so we gotta have big heavy gear, big heavy line, and you better be ready to get the fish in the boat because this is gonna be like bass fishing around heavy, heavy structure, cover, wood, like Lake Fork, lakes that have a lot of timber like that where you gotta really put some pressure on the fish to get them in the boat. We're not catching guppies out there. There we go. Six stick combo. Still available, Winston? Always. Still available. 7-4 heavy. Going to do some heavy lifting tomorrow. He this went fishing with me um, nine years? No, maybe seven. Seven years? Six? Seven? Seven. 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 seven years ago. Is he crazy? <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> so G was saying they caught 106 fish today. That's awesome. That's it. One guy. Some money. One guy. On Big a, money. On a jig and on a fly. Yeah. Oh, on a jig. Jig, jig and a fly. Speak my language. Okay. So we're talking about wood choppers here. He's saying they just caught 106 fish on some jigs. Either way, we're rigged up for big jigs, whatever. Basically, there's no lures been in the water, and well, since this time last year, they fished. I think he said four months, they'll fish now until <clears throat> the rain is really heavy starting in February, so 
I'm like jacked up. Last time, last time we was here, it rained three times a day. You know, we still caught 50, 60 fish per person a day, 100 per boat. That's crazy. But now the water's low. I haven't explained that too well. So when the water, it's just like bass fishing. You get water's really high, fish get spread out really hard to catch. Now the water is, is going down. So that creates a funnel effect where the fish have to get into certain pools and that is perfect. So literally we are the first big trip out. Like G was just saying, he went out. This is one of the first days uh, going out and just kind of testing, just kind of pre-fishing and they smashed them. So this, is, this could be setting up to be an incredible trip right here, guys. And the sun, the sun's going down in the background. We're gonna finish rigging our tackle. I cannot wait for you guys to see what's gonna happen tomorrow. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen tomorrow. My, my facial expressions on my first peacock bass bite is probably gonna be pretty priceless. So you're gonna to wanna to tune in for that. But even if the fishing is tough, this is just an incredible experience, once in a lifetime adventure for an old, old boy like me that started out as a fishing guide. This is pretty amazing, guys. So make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because you're gonna wanna tune in for the rest of these videos. And I'll see you on the next one.